Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. Still in a summer-like pattern for much of the United States. We see those warmer temperatures still lingering in the western and central parts of the United States. Still some 90s in Oklahoma City and here in San Angelo. A little bit cooler out towards the northeast. Again, you see that it's a lot of 70s across the area. That's because they've actually been seeing some rain showers through the area. You see some scattered showers out through Canton, Ohio, up through the, the, the northeast, rather. Much drier here in the central Plains and then again here in Texas as well. We did see a few showers in the Texas Panhandle. Again, some stronger showers earlier in the day. That was up towards the Amarillo area. That has since dissipated. We've lost that daytime heating. Again, seeing those storms begin to dissipate, hanging on to some showers, kind of pushing towards the south and towards Lubbock. So we may see some of that increased cloud coverage, but not likely to see any rain as we go through the overnight hours. Our rain chances really don't pick up until next week. Those are going to be our better shot of any rain. 106, that was our high today. Again, we topped out certainly well above average. In fact, 7 degrees above our normal of 99. And the good news with those normals is over the next couple days, we'll start to see those averages come back down. That's that transition back into that fall and cooler weather as we kind of go in towards the next couple of weeks. We also started the day off on a warm night, warm note. Only got up, only got down to 79 for those overnight lows. We did hit triple digits. That means another day that we have seen triple digit again at 68 days so far. And that continues our streak of 32 days in a row that we've consecutively hit over 100 degrees. Now we're cooling back down into the mid 90s, 95 degrees. Those dew points in the mid 50s and those winds out of the southeast at eight miles per hour. So again, a little bit of a break from what was breezier conditions earlier in the day. And we are seeing 90s across the entire Concho Valley. 95 in Ballinger, 94 out in Mertzen, as well as El Dorado, a little bit cooler. Mason, one of the coolest spots, just at 90 degrees. So still hanging on to some of those warmer temperatures. But as we go through the overnight hours, we'll drop another 10 or 12 degrees, getting down into the upper 70s. We'll see some mostly clear skies as those clouds continue to dissipate through the overnight hours. And then tomorrow, starting off the day with mostly clear skies. As we get to the afternoon hours, we'll start to see a few clouds develop. Not as hot. Again, not expecting that heat advisory. So we'll see a few degrees cooler, topping out at 103. But then we'll start to really see big cool down as we go in towards the weekend. Your last two days of the week, again, temperature is going to be much more comfortable in the early mornings. We'll see those temperatures in the upper 70s, quickly warming up into the 90s. And we'll see that cloud development as well as those winds starting to pick up as you get closer towards the lunchtime hour. Upper level pattern will start to push that upper level ridge off towards the west and northwest. That opens up the door for a chance for a little bit of instability to work its way in towards our area by next week. And what that does adds in that moisture and the instability, all the ingredients we really need for some isolated rain showers. Though we're not going to be seeing a whole lot through Friday and for Saturday, though we could see a few isolated showers. Our better rain chances come next week by about Tuesday and Wednesday. That's where we're going to see the more uh, widespread rain chances as we go through what is uh, increased moisture for the weekend, but not a whole lot of rain. You see a little bit more of that green on the map as we go in towards Tuesday, and that trend continues in towards Wednesday as well. Again, seeing some more of those isolated showers. Then we'll start to dry conditions back out as we go in towards the later part of next week. So breezy conditions expected for both Saturday and Sunday. If you're out kind of doing some of that tax-free shopping, again, 10% chance of an isolated shower and the cooler temperatures. Those are going to pull those highs back down into the upper 90s with our best rain chances for Tuesday and Wednesday.